Hello and welcome to Rock Naeem. Today the word is admit it. To admit something means to call it out, to name it, to acknowledge it or to confess it, to own up to it, to profess, to bring it out into the open. God wants us to admit. Admit what? Admit our need for him. Admit things that hurt us. Admit our limitation. Admit our hurts, our bitterness, our pain, our anger. All in all, our need for him. We don't have to muscle through this life on our own. He invites us always to open up ourselves. One scripture I want to read uh, to you is Psalm 18 and 6. And it says, in my distress, I called upon you, the Lord. And he cried, and I cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple. And my cry came before him, even to his ears. Now, we don't admit something because God doesn't already know. I am learning still to this day at 54 years old that God wants us to admit it for us. There are many areas in my life that I am still yet working out with the help of the Holy Spirit, realizing that I've never admitted things. Um, trying to muscle through, trying to, I've talked myself many times out of um, just really need sometimes, being, having to be strong, so, so I think, for someone else or, um, just telling myself, hey, stop being a baby about it and just muscle through. But you don't receive adequate healing when you do that. So God wants us to expose ourselves, to unveil, to, um, yeah, show our nakedness before him, come before him unveiled. Um, nothing, we're not covering ourselves so that we can receive his help in whatever the area is. And today, just uh, sitting, I thought of Jesus on the cross, and I never thought of it this way. But in Matthew 27 and 46, uh, it says, And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is to say, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In that moment, in his flesh, in his humanity, he felt deserted. He felt uh, the weight of being separated from the God that he's always been with. He is God in the flesh. Um, and I just it just occurred to me that if he, nothing's in the Bible by accident. So I know that this is one area where God just showed me that, that if he had to cry out, and admit something, why don't I think I do? So this is just a word of uh, humility, really, just to say that we are all, we all have times and moments when we need to, it's healthy, it's very healthy to our healing. It's very necessary to our healing to admit things. And of course to him, but there may be times where God may tell you that you need to admit some things to others. Um, and it isn't to wallow there, but it is to expose it so that you can receive the healing salve, the healing balm that God offers us in those places. So I'm going to leave you with one final scripture, and that is Jer uh, Jeremiah 33 and 3. It's one of, uh, I have so many, but one of my favorite uh, scriptures. And it says, God says, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. And there's one translation that renders, I will show you great and mighty things that are hidden for you. So God has treasures, God has um, pleasantries, he has beauty waiting in healing for us if we would move forward. So to you I say, be blessed. Um, remember, admit it, journal it. Write it down, call it out, say it forth as you grow in him. 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. May the Lord lift his face upon you, shine upon you, and give you peace. I mix that up, but you get the idea. God is blessing you today. Receive it. Peace in your heart. Peace in your home. Peace all around. Admit it.